What's up, advanced Bhangra experts? We've got another step for you here today, and it's called Kabutar Chal. The step isn't all that hard to do by itself, but to make it look graceful, we are going to have to put in some effort. Now, to start off with the legs, they're not all that complicated, and they're similar to a step that we did in the intermediate level called Sami. So what we're going to do with our legs is similar to Tamal. We're not going to bring our legs forward here, though. We're going to bring them back. So we're going to have that same hop that we do in Tamal, but we're going to bounce back just like that. Okay, a slight sway is okay. You don't have to go as far as you would in a step like Fasla, but you do want to have a little bit of smoothness to it, a little bit of fluidity. Okay, so guys, let's try just the legs of Kabutar Chal. You ready? Hands on your hips, count off on me. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Stop. Great job, that was easy enough. All right, now let's get our arms in there. What we're going to do is we're going to have both of our palms facing upwards with our thumb pointing upwards as well, lined up right here with our ears. And what we want to do is really push something up. It's like we have a heavy weight right here and we're pushing it up. And just when we get to the top, throwing it over. And when we bring our hands down, we're going to bring them right back to where we were. But to show that you're advanced, try to curl your wrist when you bring him down. So there's a grace element. So we're Pushing something up, bringing them down, pushing something up, bringing them down, just like that. And now you also want to keep uh, certain that your arms are not going way too wide like this. You want to keep it so that your elbows are still straight, just like this. So have your arms in a comfortable position, not all the way out here, but not too far in where you feel comfortable, depending on your frame. So up, down, up, down, just like that. Let's try just our arms. You guys ready? Three, two, one, here we go. And one, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight. Great job, I heard some bones creaking. All right, we're gonna have to get those out because you're an expert now. <laughs> All right, so let's try to put that together with our legs and execute Kabutar Chal. You guys ready? On me, three, two, one, left leg. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Use your shoulders and one, two. Push that weight up. Five, six. Great job. Seven and eight. All right. I think you got the basics down. Now let's try it on some music. Make sure you hold that beat though. You don't want to go too fast. You want to hold it with the music to the last possible second to show that you have body control and grace. Here we go, DJ. Woo! Breathe it out. <laughs> All right, guys, get ready. We're gonna start in three, two, one on me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try to reach at the last second. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, keep going. Got it going. Great. One, two, stretch up. Feel in your obliques. That means you're doing it right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job, everybody. Keep going. Oh man, our arms are feeling it. How about you? Feeling it. Great job. Keep it going. Almost there, guys. Shake your arms out, guys. Stretch out if you need to. It's a hard step because you're really lifting something up heavy. And it feels like that even though there's nothing there. Great job, Bhangra experts. Keep it up. You're doing awesome.